It leads you in terms of characters back to Elizabeth's mother, Elizabeth Woodville, who eventually uh, marries, having resisted him, uh, Edward IV. What was the appeal of Elizabeth Woodville? Oh, she's just so great. You would have to, you can't help but love Elizabeth Woodville. Firstly, it's a kind of Cinderella story. She's a commoner, she's a widow, she's poor. She waits on the roadside because she has to get her dowry lands and the family are in dispute and they won't pay her her dowry. If she doesn't get her dowry, she has in a sense got no future women can't earn a living. She has to have the money that her dead husband's family owe her. So she waits. We don't exactly know where, but we actually believe it is on the side of the road under the Queen's Oak at Grafton in Northamptonshire. And you can go there. You can see it. It's the, the tree is still there today. And as Edward comes round the bend at the head of his army, because he's on the way to fight the Battle of Hexham, she steps out, he stops, she makes her request, he promises it'll be taken care of, and he rides on. That we know. What is pretty apparent is that he rides back and they become lovers and they marry. They're married within six weeks. He then rides off, wins the Battle of Hexham, goes to the council at Reading, and there they're about to ratify the arrangements for his marriage to Princess Bona of Savoy, a relative of the King of France, thereby locking England into a, an alliance, a European alliance, which is essential for England's safety. And at that really embarrassing moment, he has to look at his mentor and real kind of commander, the Earl of Warwick, called the Kingmaker because he's just made Edward King, and say to him, I'm married already. Just explosive. This is really risky business, but it's risky for Elizabeth too, isn't it? Because at this moment, she and her family are propelled right into the court and to the front line of English politics. What they actually do is, is really very understandable. They do what a number of families do in this incredible time of danger and change. Lots of families simply change sides. Some families, like the Stanleys, deliberately put a brother on one side and a brother on the other, so you've got this kind of insurance. Whatever happens, someone's going to be in the ruling party. What the Woodvilles simply do is, having been absolute loyal supporters of the House of Lancaster, Elizabeth's father and her brothers had gone out to fight for Lancaster. Her husband died at the Battle of St Albans fighting for Lancaster. Once she's engaged to Edward, everybody just becomes Yorkists and join, in a sense, the York court. And as she and her mother marry their siblings and cousins and every one of the family, their kinsmen and women, into the aristocracy, they form a new ruling power, they form a new family, and they become Edward's courtiers and protectors. Thank you.